National Scotch Day, July 27, by Vagabond Wine Guy. Every year on July 27, we celebrate National Scotch Day and take a moment to appreciate the world's finest whiskey. From its smoky, peaty, and sea salty flavors to its smooth finish, Scotch is a unique drink that has been enjoyed for centuries. Today, we celebrate Scotch in all its forms, from single malt to blended, to the Highlands and Isles of Scotland. So, let's raise a glass and toast to National Scotch Day. Since Scotch is protected by law, specific guidelines must be followed when making it to be labeled as Scotch. Otherwise, it may be an ordinary whiskey, or whiskey if it's made in the United States. First and foremost, Scotch must be made in Scotland. Another requirement includes the grain used in the fermentation process. For Scotch, only malted barley may be used. The scotch must also be aged in oak barrels for at least three years and have an ABV of less than 94.8%. While most scotch is made with barley, water, and yeast, other grains can be included, but no fermentation additives, per law. History National Scotch Day The Babylonians of Mesopotamia were likely the first people to distill alcohol in the second millennium BC. At the time, it is likely that various perfumes and aromatics were most often distilled. The earliest records of the distillation of alcohol for the purpose of drinking date back to 13th century Italy, where harder alcohols were distilled from wine. Soon, the practice of distillation use spread through medieval monasteries and was used largely for medicinal purposes, such as the treatment of smallpox and other illnesses. Distillation spread to today's Great Britain in the 15th century, and the first evidence of whiskey production in Scotland comes from an entry in the Exchequer Rolls for 1494 where malt is sent to Friar John C.O.R. by order of the king to make aqua vite, enough to make about 500 bottles. Whiskey production later moved out of a monastic setting and into personal homes and farms when King Henry VIII of England dissolved all the monasteries in his country due to his feud with the Pope, causing the monks to find a way to earn a living for themselves. However, the distillation process in those days was much more basic than it is today, and the whiskey itself was not allowed to age, meaning it must have tasted much more raw than it does today. Nowadays, there are 134 Scotch whiskey distillers operating inside the borders of Scotland, many of them inside legendary buildings that have been in operation for centuries. This video was brought to by Palawan Perfection and its affiliates and we invite the world to come and visit Palawan, Philippines which was voted best island in the world in 2013, 2016, 2017 and 2020 by Travel Plus Leisure Travel Magazine and many more awards to numerous to mention here by the, the Worldwide Travel and Tourism Press. Palawan awaits!